Hey world, I'm Honey Davenport from RuPaul's Drag Race season 11. And today, I'm gonna show you how to go from this kind of pretty to this. All right, so the first thing you have to do, girl, is block your brows. I know a lot of girls like to shave them off and not block their brows. That's not my tea, because the worst thing in the world is when you're getting trade and your eyebrow wipes off on the pillow. That's not the look. So, <laughs> we start with some good old glue and pull these things away. You wanna go against your hair grade to get that glue really up in there. And then, you wanna brush it back the other way. It's like versatile, it flip flops. <laughs> this is actually, believe it or not, in 10 years of drag, my first makeup tutorial ever. <laughs> Once you got the glue in your brows, you wanna dry it with a blow dryer. But you wanna put the blow dryer on cool, because if you put the blow dryer on warm, you're really doing nothing but melting your face. Now, I'm a sweater, and I do shows on Fire Island and in Asbury Park in like the middle of the summer. So I have to pile the glue on my brows like a couple of rounds. What I like to do before I put the next level of glue on is press it down with like my dirty ass powder puff that I'd never wash. And I just push it in there to flatten that out. I do three layers of glue, so that was my third and final. Now that you got your brows covered, it's time to apply all of the products. Like, I like to put so many things on my face until it looks like I'm not wearing anything. Like, that's my theory. Like, the more makeup I wear, the less it looks like I have on. You'll see at the end of this shoot. Now I'm gonna go in with an all over foundation. Just cover my whole face in one color. I like to paint like a beautiful black woman, you know, like my beauty inspirations are like Shirley Ralph or Vanessa Bell Calloway. Uh, um, beautiful black women from, you know, the 80s and 90s uh, are, are my fave. So my drag makeup is more, I, more about me like bringing out my inner black excellence than, um, putting on a stereotypical, like, this is drag face. Uh, you wanna make sure, you, if you're like me and you have, like, um, razor burn all the time, <laughs> um, that you are covering everything that the eye is gonna see. I want my face to get to, like, the most neutral point possible for me to create the, uh, whatever illusion I want to do that day. I feel like getting it to, like, a blank space First, it is just like one tone is key. That's how I do it. So I'm gonna go in with highlight now. I don't like to get too crazy with my highlight color. A lot of girls are like popping the hell out of it. I, like I said, I like to hold on to my blackness, honey. I'm thinking like, maybe I'm gonna serve y'all some like Claire Huxtable realness. Or maybe not, maybe I'll just end like with the Lion King like this. <laughs> You're just giving yourself the base of what you want. Creating the cheekbones that you want to create and the eye shape you want to create and the chin you want to create and the titties you want to create. Oh, look at that. I'm already a full-blown natural woman. <laughs> so now I'm going in with this next like TV stick. I just want to make sure that like my whole beard area is completely demolished. I don't I don't want that oof, that's a dude look. But then again, when do I look like a dude? Or maybe I'm delusional and I always look like a dude and I just think that's what women look like. <laughs> Whatever the case, I have a lot of fun doing this. And again, that's the key like if you're not having fun, why are you doing drag? You could be anything in the world, Anybody, any of us. When we're growing up and our parents are like, you could be anything you want. It's actually really true. Look at me, I'm like here based off of some silly dream. You guys are all watching me like as if I'm some kind of guru. 
when I'm just this like little gay boy from West Philadelphia who had dreams of being glamorous. And look, I'm doing it. <laughs> so the key is to blend every step. If you're doing Honey Davenport's face, you are team blended, honey. Now that you got a base and a highlight all over your face, I like to start to sculpt out this nose. I like to bring it all the way up into my brow. It's just the thing that I've always done. I might not be the best makeup artist in the world, but I am the best me that I can be every day. And if you learn nothing from me, show them who you are every time. Because A, that is enough, and B, that is the only thing that nobody else can be. Now that you've got your highlight and all over foundation, let's add a little contour. Let's change the shape of our face a bit. I'm gonna go in with and create the shapes that I want. I just play. I just have fun and just keep drawing on shapes until I somehow magically look like I have transformed into something that resembles a woman. <laughs> Hopefully. The more you blend, the more subtle your illusion is, but like you're still changing every part of yourself. I like to do my brows before I set my face because I find that it's like easier to clean up the colors. What I've been doing lately is using three different colors. I didn't used to have enough money to use three different colors. <laughs> but now, thanks to Mama Roo, I got the world at my fingertips. And I'm like honestly just like so grateful for everything about this experience. Like y'all have no idea. This has been my dream for so long. And if it's yours, keep going for it. I applied for the show since season four, and finally, it has happened to me. <laughs> That's color number one. I like to continue it out with the second one. I like to make strokes and just like complete the line. Just like. So I layer this on. So this is like brow stage one. I'm gonna take me a little bit of black and add it in here, just on the edges of this. And add a little black in here. And then of course, on the forehead. Now that's gonna really make that, um, especially if, I, like, I, lo I love dark hair. This doesn't, this dark line doesn't always work when it's light hair, but today for the gig, I'm wearing dark hair. And I think that going in black on your hairline, a lot of people use black spray. I just do it with my makeup um, and try to create like a nice little widow's peak illusion. Delusion, I'm delusional. <laughs> I feel like th this makeup is all gonna stick to my face and it's all blended. Then I like to take that good old blow dryer on cool again and <laughs> dry this bitch off. <laughs> now that I've uh, got some foundation on, dry dryer all off, it's time to set it. I like to take one powder, one good old powder and get all over this mug. Just get it all set one powder, because I've done most of the work with creams. Now I look all the way crazy. <laughs> but I promise you, I'm gonna look like Honey Davenport at the end, which I particularly think is glamorous. Now that I've doused my face with a crazy ton of powder everywhere, I am going to first get it out of my brows. Going back in on that contour with some powders. But I did it in creams first, because powders move throughout the day, you know, um, and you you want that thing to stay. So just all the same places I contoured before, I go back in and contour with powders. I'm gonna go into my nose with the brown that I used 
the first time, but just like a like subtle light one. Just cause nose contour is another thing that like, I don't wanna overdo this. I just want my nose to be visible when those stage lights hit Hanny. Hello. Now that we got all this contour on our face, let's add some color. Yay. Um, I recommend for people of color to blend out your um, contours with orange first. I'm not mad at Coco Montrese, baby. I think she's a legend. It's like blush part one because I, like I said, like to put on 90 million things. Going in with a pinker blush, and I like to take that all the way up, like, boom. Then I like to go in with a deeper one and go in between all of the stuff that I just did, the contour and everything. We're almost at the cooking part. I like to cut out the bottom of the cheek first with a different powder. This is not a translucent. This is actually like a light chestnutty brown powder. Let's pop the highlights. Now that I have on all the powder in the mother world, I'm gonna let that sit there while I get to my eye. Continuing that brown that I had in my nose, I'm gonna continue that out and create the eye shape that I wanna create. I think that your cheek line and your eye line should be going in the same direction and your eye line should be like looking as if it was like going to meet your eyebrow. Today's gonna be a little orange because I like the way orange bl blends out contouring on people of color. Shout out to Coco Montrese and her amazingly talented daughter Kahana who is probably one of my favorite people I've met on season 11. We gotta deepen this eye shape up. So let's get some black in there, black girl. Like I said, have fun. Be in the world that you create. That's really like the best thing about being a drag queen. My next step is I am gonna highlight under my brow bone. This is just like an illuminator uh, palette right now that I'm using. I'm gonna use different pieces of it on my cheek as well. But it's just like a little, like, you know, little shine and shimmer to really pop under that brow. The next step for me is lining my eyes. This is like a, a liner marker. I like these better than just like regular liquid liner felt tips. I feel like I, like I said, I have more control. I'm gonna blend that out with a little bit of, or tap a little bit of black shadow over that. I like the marker pencil too because like, you don't have to let it like dry. It's just like there and on. What I like to do next is use like a water activated makeup. And I like the way it goes on. I like it, I like to use it as my liner. I like it better than liquid liner in there. I'm gonna jump into some glitter. So I'm gonna use a little mixing medium to hold her on. After you have that medium on there, you can just tap it. And now you see why I used uh, white in my crease because that really is popping that, this glitter out. I'm filling this maroon color in here and I'm a put some underneath of my eye. I am next going to line my eye underneath. Same marker. I'm just like trying to crisp up these lines with this black so I don't look like messy bessy. I'm gonna also deepen up these brows with some black as well. Now, I am going to dust off all this 
powder on my face. Ready? Here we go. Illuminator. I'm gonna like add some like cool golds to this mug. Today's category is shiny. <laughs> it's time for lips and lashes kind of game. You have to put mascara on before your lashes. It is a must in the Honey Davenport rule book. I really love how beautiful the shape of my lips are, so I'm gonna use it. These are some big old lips. Look at that beautiful lip. I ain't no need to overdraw. This is supposed to be like a nude color, but I'm black. So this ain't nude for me. <laughs> I like to dab gloss only in the center of my lips. Set this mag, honey. Today, I think that even though I like to like really lash out, I really love this eye. And when I like the shape of my eye, I like to use like one subtle lash. I use weave bonding glue as opposed to lash glue because it dries so much faster and it's no like waiting for it to get tacky and yada, yada, yada. This is a 199. Like I said, I'm kind of feeling this eye shape. I don't want to take away from it with a big old lash. I'm gonna put one nice lash on it. Now you want to make sure your lash hits this corner of your eye, because that's what makes it flare out, when it hits this inside in here, and then goes from there. Lashes are like one of the hardest parts of drag makeup to perfect. I feel like, for me, it was like the struggle, girl. I was wonky lash Wanda for some time. Now I'm in face. <laughs> it's time to put on the rest of this illusion, honey. Yes. This is the final look, hunties. The Honey Davenport illusion. It's always about fun, and it's always a little bit about glamour, but it's always about being true to yourself as an artist. That is what I have built a 10-year career off of. So if you've got nothing else from this makeup tutorial, I hope that you got that you are completely valid and you are completely enough you are complete in everything you do. Just do it to your best. Hey. Hey beauties, it's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season nine. Do you want all the hot Drag Race tea? Then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.